so why are you getting so there, close there's to me? There's three different floors. If you can go why are you getting so close to me like that? This, way, please, sir. this is open to the public, sir. We came Actually, into the right elevator. The we walked here. right in. So what is your reason for being here? Well, first of all, my right. What is your reason for being here? Why don't you calm down and de-escalate? Why are you hollering? What is your reason for being here? What is your reason for being here? Why what do you need? Hollering? Stop hollering. What do you need? What I need right now is for you to calm need? down, de-escalate, stop hollering, and act professional. What do you That's need? That's what I need. You're up here recording. This is a private building. This is a private building. This is a private building. I wish you well in your civil rights violation bait thing that you're trying. You need a backup, dude. But you need yeah, because you're trying to violate my rights, bud. You you're tell me approaching me with And I'm a good four feet away from you, bro. Uh, so. guys, today we're in my native state in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where we come across some of the rudest, unprofessional, oath-breaking tyrants I've ever encountered. Facebook saw it first, so be sure to follow us to get access to early release videos. Now before we jump into it, it's time to announce today's sponsor. The sponsor of today's video goes to... Good looking out, cousin. I appreciate all your support on the DMA channel. Your dad is doing an excellent job on teaching you what it really means to be a true free American. For information on how to sponsor a video, check out my memberships. The link is in the description. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Hey guys, I'm from Metro Audit, AKA the Mile High Auditor. Today we're at Bernalillo County Public Safety Center. And I'm here, of course, with ANCAP Copwash. I'm here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And right up there we got uh, For The Record. Of course, we got our root beers here. You can't do anything with uh, for the record without your root beer, man. Oh yeah, it would be the main thing in this area here. You guys um, can see the like the floors here. We have like uh, prisoners transfer centers on the other side. Then we have a CCP on the second floor. Metro Court has moved. Third floor is completely empty. Fourth floor and fifth floor are just like detectives' offices. And then the sixth floor is going to be pretrial services for people that are on those. And the elevators will take you guys to. Uh, Second floor and sixth floor. The other ones require key card access. Okay, second and sixth. Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's go. Interesting. Right. So, so sometimes, like, they're an AKH style. <laughs> I've had a lot of uh, two. We got two and six we're allowed to go to, he said. The rest is like all key card access or something. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. But I don't know what it says. But I bet you if you push three, it probably would like maybe push <laughs> yeah, a card on there. Yeah, it, it, it'll ask for that. So we got the community custody program, video surveillance. So they are recording, guys. Let's go check it out over here, see what's going on. Okay, so we got, uh, looks like a silver line over there. I don't know what that is, but. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Good. We came in over here, there's no one over there, so. Oh, I apologize. Are you the one that's, uh, that's helping folks over here? Yes. Okay. How can I help you guys? Awesome. Well, I was just actually, I'm right from here, just kind of doing like a little tour of your of your city here in Albuquerque. Okay. So I was just wondering um, what is, we're doing a story here. So what's the, what is, says program services? What kind of services do you provide over uh, here? This is the community custody program. So this is a part of MDC. So I'm not too sure if they would allow you to film in here. Oh really? Um, yeah, let me grab my sergeant and we'll okay. see. Yeah, because we, okay. we didn't see any signs or anything like that. And it was like open. Yeah, this is considered so. oh, a jail. So really? Oh, it's a jail? Yes. yes. Yeah, right. Because yeah. we just kind of walked right in here. Like the door's open. There's no signage or anything like that. Yeah. No, that's fine. If you guys don't mind just waiting right out here, I'll grab a sergeant and okay. we'll just. All right, guys. So. Yeah. Not even hiding it. So what does CCP stand for again? Uh, Community Custody Program. Yeah, but custody seeing as how the uh, acronym of CCP, it rather sus. Yeah. <laughs> so this is rather interesting. Can I help you? Hey, what's going on? Just, we were just looking around and seeing uh, who does what and... No, you guys can't be in here. Jobs. You guys can't be in here recording. 
Uh, what's your name? Sergeant Winslow. Winslow, you got a business card we can take? What? You got a business card? No. You don't have business no. cards? No. Okay. Well, um, I mean, why can't we record in here? Is this is this a secure facility, sir. Secure? Well, it's not very secure because we just got in the... Yeah. I mean, we can go talk We already went to right. security. Okay, we'll, we can... Yeah, they let us come in. Okay, first you have... What is this? Alcohol. Alcohol? So, okay. You, need, you guys need... To alcohol? Let me think it's alcohol. It's alcohol. Yes. Please, thank you. Well, sir, we, we already we, went through we, security. We oh. talked to the deputy down there. Okay. So, so why are you getting so close to me? There's three different floors. If you can go why are you getting so close to me like that? This, way, please, sir. this is open to the public, sir. We came Actually, into the elevator. The we walked right in. That's public. There's, there's no sign. That's show me, public. Show show me the sign. It does say community custody unit. Okay, well, we were told by the deputy downstairs that we can come up here. It's open to the public. Where does it say? Show me the sign. It doesn't say anyone. It says ring doors. It says ring doorbell for service. Yeah, it doesn't say not restricted. It's a public lobby. There's chairs here. I mean, there's chairs off. here, man. This is for okay. I'll just step out here. I'm not stepping we'll out anymore, anymore man. What law, law is it? What law is it that I can't be in this public lobby we'll right here? Up. It's open we to the need public. We get authorization through our chief to come into this building. We got authorization. You didn't get authorization we, we through our chief. Downstairs. Through my chief. They authorized. If you get authorization so, through so my chief. Is it the cameras? What is it? Because we can if come in. If you get authorization through through the chief, then you can come in here. But for right now, could you please step out here? It's in the lobby, please. Well, you know, if somebody comes in here, they can go through security, they can come up the elevator okay. just like we did, I and they can walk right in here. I checked, I have? put in my stuff, I you have went through the like... search and everything. No. Why do I have to go out there? I've been through the process to Call, be um, able to be up here. Please. Hey, you guys better get someone else over here, man. This is crazy. This is open. To... Look, this is a public lobby here. There's chairs. Call the chief, then. You got alcohol, sir. Please step out. Said he went you, you making false accusations? Okay, take the bottle off. That's, I got take, the ball, take the bottle off. I got a fourth amendment right to be off. secure in my take person. Take the bottle off the bed. And so it's none of your out. business so please stop what out. I got. What is it? Uh, you got drinks, right? You got drinks in there. It doesn't say no food no, or drinks. drinks on there's no alcohol in this building, please. Well, well you're well, making the assumption that it's alcohol. Please stop out. You're making the assumption that it's alcohol. Please stop out. Give me information on the call. Don't you think the guy downstairs would already check that? Don't you think he'd be... You know that? Area, step out of the building. Look, man, hey, you need to stop being like a parrot, bro. We're not going to step out, man. Okay, we have a lawful right to be here. We know what we're doing. Okay, this is a public lobby, sir. You swore an oath to the Constitution, right? So what is your reason for being here? Well, first of all, my right, what is your reason for being here? Why don't you calm down and de-escalate? Why are you hollering? What is your reason for being here? What is your reason for being here? Why what do you need? Hollering? Stop hollering. What do you need? What I need right now is for you to calm need? down, de-escalate, what do you need? stop hollering, and act professional. What do you That's need? what I need. What do you need? What do you need here? Well, I, I didn't actually even need What you. do you need here? I, never, I didn't ask you to come over here. We just what do you here. need here? Are you going to let me talk or are you going to keep interrupting me? What do you need here? I'm about to tell you, but are you going to interrupt Are you a me? client of the, the community custody program? That's none of your business. I'm are a you a I'm client a member of the here. public. I'm a member of the public is what I You're not. So all you want to do is come up here. Stop and cause problems. Down. I, you're the one causing a problem. You're, I came you're the here, one that's causing a problem. Because I asked you to step out into the lobby yeah, here. You can ask me anything, man. I'll ask you to take your shoes off, bro. You don't have to, I don't have to listen to you. you don't but have you want to come in here you and you want to make a fool of yourself. Me. You're no, the you one acting fool foolish, bro. Coming in here Chill with out. bottles and recording everything. When I ask, I simply ask you to step out into the lobby. Yeah, you can ask me, man. All you want to do is a confrontation. For be what? up here being stupid. To be? For what? Well, if that's what you, you think, if you think this is just a confrontation, then why don't you just go back to your office and get back to work and leave us alone? So, this is my office. Yeah, did so you work right here out. in the lobby? This if you want to record, you can, re you can feel free to record outside here. Yeah, I'm going to record right here too, you man. You come outside here, here, here to and record to, um, You call as To check Thank out the, the, what the uh, Sheriff's Department has to offer the citizens that are coming in here for these services. And we have a right oh to be have this transparent and, and see what's going on, see what they have to offer here, and what you guys, how you guys act. I hope you guys don't act this way with the people that come in here. You know, you guys swore an oath to the Constitution, right? You know, the five okay, freedoms well, guaranteed off, by the not, First Amendment. We're not the sheriff's department, okay. And if you want information on CCP, I'd be more than happy to answer. Well, that's kind of what we came in here for. We were trying to talk to that that's lady, and then she said, well, you guys can't be here. She came and got you guys. And then we got this guy, Wilson Winslow, over here, acting, yelling at us and everything and else. Did. 
what We're questions you have, sir? I will answer that for you. Here. But this is clearly a public lobby, sir. We came off the yeah. elevator. There's no restricted access. There's no we signs. Actually, there's no key card access. Well, like, you can we, let we me talk now. Actually, this isn't a public lobby. This is where inmates come in, so they do have their right to be. Well, then why would you have the door wide open like this with no signs? Why signage? are you up here? Huh? Because normally they don't let people up here just to let people up here. They have to be identified well, as. Normally, it doesn't matter. Normally, man. Like, normally. we wanted to come up here to do this a story on the building. Usual. That's all. Yes. Okay. So, and so then, which questions do you have about CCP? I'll well, you know what? We, we originally were going to ask some questions, but, you know, since you guys are coming up trying to intimidate us, you, we don't need your help no more. We're just going to take our pictures here. You guys are dismissed. You can get back to work, man. Okay, thank you. Well, okay. you so we're going to hang out here until you guys leave, and then when we're ready, we're going to leave. Okay, but, well, but we promised you're going to leave before we do. So. Okay, gotcha. You know, you guys would have just been cool. Are you guys with BCSO or? Nope. Nope. Okay. ET on that ED. So you guys are, so you guys are just city or county employees there? County employees. Okay. Security Metropolitan County Detention Center. I'm on ETS this time. Gotcha, okay. Do you know if they're armed or any other information you give? No, there's nothing, nothing like that. It's just they're refusing to depart the secured area. This is not a secured area. Actually. Well, how come you don't have any signage um, There is actually, it says community right custody unit. That's not that doesn't say no public though. Security. community custody unit. Doesn't say no pup. The door's wide open. We got in the elevator, walked right in here. Okay. It looks like there's look, there's like like a receptionist supposed to be here, man. There's pamphlets and stuff like here, stuff we can grab, right? No, this is a lobby, grab. man. Actually, that's protected by HIPAA and stuff like that. But yeah. This is protected by HIPAA, but people, a member of the public, can come up here. Can't come up here. That's the problem. It's not member. So what are those for then? Who are those for? For our clients. For our clients. For your clients, right? So a member of the public can come up here and they're not that. members of the public. They're, they're a inmates. client. It's a member of the. If they can come inmates. up here, they're then that we're members of the public. We can come up. Inmates here. of the Metropolitan Detention Center. Those are the only. They're like incarcerated in jumpsuits. They have an ankle bracelet system. On okay, here. yeah, they're but they're incarcerated. on the streets. They're not they incarcated. Are. They're like you know. They they're incarcerated. 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 Still incarcerated. On the CCP unit, which is a unit of the Metropolitan Detention Center. Okay. Well, the way it works, sir, is you have to have key card access or like okay. signage. But see, the door is wide open. We got off the elevator, walked right You're in right. here. And yeah, that'll so be addressed with the security department. That's fine. Okay. I, I can't explain what happened there with that boy. Because, yeah, I mean, the guy downstairs, the deputy, he told us you guys go to the second and sixth he's floor. The officer. He's not he is. Sure. And I don't, know, I don't know what was told to him. If you guys told him that you were part he's of the CCP. You're right. I don't know why they let you guys out. He said straight up, he said you guys go to the second and sixth floor. He said all the rest are key card access. So that's what we did. We followed the directive, the, the process, you. right? I believe you. And so they may have thought it, you were a client of, of CCP. I don't know. I don't know do what conversation. Yeah, actually we do. Yeah, actually do. We're just normal people. Oh, so normal people. Yeah, that's oh, what we are. Yeah. We're normal okay. people. CCP, yeah, people, we're people. Paperwork from normal the courts. people. You have paperwork from the courts. Do you have paperwork from the courts? For? Huh? To be placed on CCP. I, I don't need to be placed on CCP. Okay. CCP. You don't. To be you don't. A best so. I have a uh, an interest in this place. I pay taxes. Okay. Well, what were your questions? I have an interest right. in how this place is run for transparency purposes. Okay. Call 8700. 839 8700. Well, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to come in person and find out for myself mm. to see what's going on here, to, to know for myself. 839 8700, please. What is here? 839 8700. And obviously, we can see that. 839 8700. Personnel that comes here. 839 8700. Attitudes like this. Mm. 839 8700. You've been okay, partner. I want to say you've been okay for the most of it. You know what I mean? This guy. Eight three nine. Didn't know how to de-escalate. Is it number two? Just eight three nine eighty seven hundred. What was it? Well, what is that? Eight three nine eighty seven hundred. Can you say it again? That's to the jail. That's eight three nine eighty seven hundred. Got questions about community custody program? Call. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. Says we got A Winslow, aka the parrot here, man. Just likes to repeat himself over and over again. You know, when I make this video, bro, I'm gonna put a parrot like right on your shoulder. A little graphic design there. Do. Winslow the parrot, man. Please do. Unprofessional. Please do. Please do. Please do. Unprofessional, man. You don't know how to treat members of the public. Please, please do. Yeah, well, Thank trust you. me, I will, man. You're going to be a star now by the way you're acting, bro. Thank you. Why can't you just be cool, man? I don't understand what your problem is. You just have all this disdain and contempt for members of the public that you work for, man. We're tax paying citizens here. Thank you. Why can't you just be nice? I don't understand what the big deal is, man. You're so unprofessional, man. 
You do not deserve to be working for the public. Not it's a privilege to work for the public. And you shouldn't be you shouldn't be here, man. Have a good one. Okay, thank yeah. you. Okay, bye. So we're gonna sit down here, I guess. So we're just gonna hang out until, until these guys leave, I guess. You can check out some traffic, see what kind of traffic comes in through here, and see uh, how they're treated in here. Maybe ask him a few questions, whoever the CCC personnel come in here, ask him a few questions, see how, no, you how they're treated. No, you don't have access to any of my clients. Uh, they have the First Amendment right to freedom of speech, and they can tell us whatever Their they want. And we have the First Amendment right to freedom of press okay. to record anything that they're saying that they feel needs to be disseminated to the public. Okay. Whatever you say. Freedom of press. Freedom of speech. Hello. <clears throat> Don't get too close to me. No, man, I'm about I'm about, I'm about ten feet away you from you. You didn't want right me now. close to you. Don't yeah, get close to me. because you got like an inch from me, bro. I'm don't, ten don't feet away close from you. Is that a law? What law is that? What law is that? I'm gonna come right here, bro. I'll get to get six feet from you, bro. Let's so get six feet right there. Stay away from me. I'll stay right here, man. You're not. They're not gonna do nothing about it, bro. Okay, so stay away from me. Do something, bro. Do something. I'm six feet away from you. I'm not in your space. Why do you want? Why do you want me to do something? Oh, you, that's what you want, huh? No, actually, I want that's you to what leave. You I want, you. That's what you want. I want you to leave me alone and get back to work. That's, that's what, what I want. want. That's what you want. Yeah, so if that's what you think I want, then why don't you just that's not give me want. what I want, and why don't you that's just buckle and bounce and get, like get back to work, bro? Because your child right? is like that. Don't you have something else to do, man? Nah, I don't. Some, some other work. You're here. I know don't you, you have something else before you came out here. Don't you got something to do? No, no, this is what I'm doing. I'm working right now, bro. You don't have a job. I'm checking on my government. Obviously, you don't. So I'm, I'm just, this is my job, man. I'm at work right now. Okay. But, you know, you're paid with tax dollars. I think mm -hmm. the tax dollars could be allocated in a much more efficient way than just yeah. sitting out here, babysitting law-abiding citizens, being rude, right? Giving unlawful directives, trying to this intimidate us. This gentleman, he stepped out here with no problem. He has no problem recording right he, over there. That's fine. And you know what? But I'm going to stand right here. But you getting a different view. A different cause confrontation. For what reason? You're I the one who no started idea. the confrontation by the way your demeanor but coming up here all aggressive. You step outside of the yeah, and I asked you to there. take your shoes off, man. You don't have to do that, and I don't have to step outside. So There's not a, it's not a law. Why do you want to come here and cause confrontation when I asked you? I don't want to cause a confrontation. You're causing... It's your teeth, Reggie. I don't know whether to smile at you or kick a field goal, man. <laughs> It's good. It's You're causing conversation. You're asking Look how unprofessional this guy is. No raising his voice at us. Oh my god. You're asking him to step else? outside for no reason. Is there anything else? You're just asking us to step outside for no reason, man. Okay, he's out of here, man. I don't like that guy, man. Like seriously, and, and super unprofessional. For no reason. For no reason. You know, just and, wants and us out because he thinks this is a secure area, which obviously there's no signs or nothing to indicate that it is. Correct. There, I'm looking all around. There, there, there are no signs. And there's like nothing around stating, here. There are no signs that you're stating this is not a public lobby. No. And we and we then, went through the problem. process of even. Yeah, I've drawn a couple of times. There's no signage out here stating it's not a public lobby. None whatsoever. Yeah. Well, they just don't want us here, that's all. Oh, sure. Absolutely sure. They, we're, we're not trying to get into secure areas at This all. is a secure area. Yeah, see, area it's too. got a key card access. That's a secure area. Yeah. This door's wide open. It's propped open. There's chairs here. There's pamphlets right here, like papers for people to grab. There's a display case here. Right, stuff on the walls for people to read. This is this is a total public lobby here. There's a reception desk right here. I mean, that's crazy, man, that they would try to say that. You go on top of the Rock of Gibraltar like usual. Guy was super unprofessional. You know, guys doesn't need to be working here, man. We already went through security. The security told us that deputy down there told us second and sixth floor, man. Deputy, sheriff's yeah. deputy, not a security guard. That guy has a higher authority yeah. letting us in, right. and these guys are trying to say we can't. And they're the security guards. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, they're, 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 with, they're with NBC. They're, they're hired. They're, they're county workers working under the under the employee of the jail to be working here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, they're MD. Uh, NBC stands for Metro Detention Center. And they try to say, you know, that the, his client, CCP, they have a right for, to their privacy. Well, if a, if a CCP client came in here, they don't have a right to privacy, but I would not record them just because I'm not here to record people on Correct. probation Correct. or on CCP. I'm here to record the government officials, but but either way, they don't have, a, it's just misinformation. They don't have a right to privacy in public. I don't care if they're on ankle bracelet or not. It doesn't matter. This, this is a split door. So if they if they didn't want anybody in here, they, they, they should have this split door closed and then and have only, only the top open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, 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 there's a doorbell out here for people to ring to get service. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for them to be all mad that we, that we just walked in is insane. Hello guys, how's it going? Oh, well, look here, we got more guys hey, back. Come on, I'm gonna talk to you out here. There you go. I'm, I'm gonna... Sergeant Allen with the Sheriff's Department. Okay. So I'm just letting you guys know, I know you're recording me, that's fine. Yep. But this is a controlled access building, and unless you have an appointment here, you can't just stay here and record things. So I'm gonna ask you all that you need to leave. Um, this is your lawful order, okay? You have to leave. You have no official business here. I do have you official do a, business You here. do not have an appointment with CCP. I don't have to you have You don't have to have an appointment with pretrial. You have to have an appointment. I'm just telling you what it is. The deputy downstairs told us that we could come up here to floor two and six. Those are the if open to the public. If you have an appointment. He doesn't have but, an itinerary. But I have, I have business. I have legitimate you do, business. You do, not, you do you have an appointment with CCP? I don't have to have an appointment with CCP to have, to have okay. legitimate business. So here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to hear. I'm going to tell you, gentlemen. Okay. I'm giving you one warning. If you choose not to leave, there is a criminal state statute you will violate, and I will take all three of you to jail. So I'm giving your one warning on the record now. that if you do not leave this building, like I've asked you to, all three of you will be booked. Will be, today. will be the charge. Under threat of Thirty. 30 30 charge. 20 13. 30 20 13. It's a criminal statute to interfere with a public building or a private building that's owned by the government. But are we interfering by simply taking you are, pictures because in you're here? up here recording. This is a private building. This is a private building. This is a private building. Recording. You have no business here. Smith so you're first coming, sir. Smith first coming. You, I, my okay. constitutionally protected activity. So what's activity? the decision going to be? I'm giving you guys the fair okay, Can I get your business card? You need, you need to leave. Can I get your business card? Okay. Well, then I need you to So what happens if we go to jail? I do not have a business card, but I told you my name is Sergeant Allen. Alan, yes. what's your batch Sergeant number? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So we're gonna go. What's your batch number? Say uh, S11. S11. Yeah, so what would happen? So what happens if we go to jail? Then do we get like do you have to bond out or do we just get a PR bond right away or what? How's that work? They'll have to see a judge and they'll have to determine everything. I'm not so the judge, so I don't. We'll be stuck here until that we see the judge. You said? Not in this building. Okay. Hey guys, so this is one of the rare occasions in which I leave under threat of arrest, but this interaction is far from over. I just wanted to let you know the reason I left under duress is because I was in Albuquerque for my grandfather's funeral, and the last thing I needed is to get arrested on a Friday, stay in jail until Monday, and upset dozens of my family members while they're grieving. So I'm happy with my decision, and I know you guys understand. All right, let's get back to it. All right, guys. All right, Winslow, do better. Parrot. And just remember, okay, in the future. Have a good day. Unless you have official business, you can't come. This is building. official business. It's not official business. Yeah, you it don't is. have an appointment. With the First Amendment you, of the Constitution, man. Uh, you the First Amendment of the Constitution, bro. Okay. Your, you guys need to reread these things. You don't think you fully understand it. To check on your government. Okay, let's go back down there and talk to uh, to dude, and then uh, uh, first floor. Cause I don't like it. Well, usually I just take the arrest, but I mean, I'm out of town right now and stuff. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to get, I don't want to get arrested. Okay, well, where's the, that says no exit. Let's go talk to. Yes. Now we want to go back to where the dude was. He's over on this side. You guys need to reread these you things. Don't you don't think you fully uh, understand it. To check on your government. Three, two, one, I think I'm This side, gentlemen. I want to talk to this guy over here. No. Exit this direction. Yeah, but we want to talk to we want to talk to the deputy this over is here. This the exit. Exit's that way. You can exit's talk that to him way. over here. Jeez, now. But it's going to be a quick one. Dude. You cannot block the lobby. You cannot. We're not even interfering with anything. Have a good day. You guys are interfering with us. 
I understand you guys are trying to beat people in the civil rights violation. We're not trying to bait anyone, yes, man. You are. This is we're a public area. Technically, we are baiting them because of the root beer. I just said we're not baiting them because I get consistently accused of baiting police officers simply for taking pictures, and that's not true. So this is the first time I've actually baited a police officer, and I'll own it, because just like Jim Freedom said, a good police officer can't be baited. So this is still an employee conduct check regardless of the root beer, and they all failed miserably. Hey, deputy, these guys are threatening us with arrest. You said we could go on to, the, to floor two and six, right? Yeah, you, yeah, I'll let you guys go to the floors, absolutely. Yeah, well, how, these guys are saying gonna they're, they're right going to arrest the door, us. Is that okay? huh? I'm going to give you a weapon. Oh, right oh door. that's fine. Thanks. These guys are saying they're going to arrest us for being in here. I'm sorry, can you step outside right, right here? Right. I'm going to put it, right. I can put it on the floor for you if you'd like. Yeah. It, it, it's driving me crazy. Come on, I'm trying to talk to this deputy right here. Okay, well, you can talk to him outside. Like that. Hey man, so so what's going on? How come these guys are trying to arrest us for going into the public lobby and taking pictures? Well, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know the ins and outs of recording or things like that in that nature. You guys were just coming in. It's, it is a public building on second yeah. and sixth floor exactly. for public entities Obviously, and things to get done. Understand that. But as far as recording and stuff, I, I don't know the ins. But he's trying to say that our our constitutional protected you. activity is is causing a disruption. That's what he's going to arrest us for. Let me, let me put this for. scenario. See that main police station, public building, right? When you get in there, you're gonna see that you're met by security. They're not gonna let you in unless you have an appointment. We already went in there and recorded and they were totally fine. Not, but you did we not just left the from there. You did not go through the hallways. I guarantee you did not because they would not let you pass security unless you were meeting somebody there. We went in to it's go do no the public here. records. You have no well, that's CCP. Not, that's you have no CCP said. meeting today. Have you have no pretrial. I've explained it to you twice. I'm not gonna explain it a third time. We you gentlemen have a great day. You can stand out here and record all you want, but you cannot go in this building unless you have an appointment and disrupt the flow of the building. We're not disrupting the flow. It oh, is a violation of state statute. No, you're a violation of our First Amendment rights. What you're doing. By all means, then go and do what you need to do if that's what you feel. Man, you, I know you guys are civil rights baiters. I've seen you guys before, so that's fine. Who are you serving and who are you protecting by throwing us out of a place? That there are rules. There are rules. You should, of all people, should know this. You should read these don't things. Don't trump our rights. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, don't yeah, just go around that side. Are you allowed to go to the White House and just walk no, around? No, because and do that's you want? a secured area, sir. What do you think this is? This Did you not have to go through just, security? Yeah, but we walked go right security. up in there. And this door locks at a certain time. It's controlled access. Yeah, so we can't time, place, and manner. We can't go in that's there. Different. That's different. That's different. This ain't any different. Did you schedule a tour of this building today? Did you schedule a tour of this building? You shouldn't be able to schedule a tour. Well, you gentlemen have a great day. I wish you well in your civil rights violation bait thing that you're trying well you know it's not a bait thing man if we're just okay. here we're doing a story on the on this well, uh knock your story on this out. office here Nobody's bro but, you well yeah you totally just stopped us because you kicked us out with threat of arrest man so that's because there's actually a violation of state statute which i've already told you but you should go read that but state it's statute. Not a, you, it's not read the state statute though. and then come back and talk it's not interference though. read the state statute yeah so i've what already was, given so, it to you yeah so what was it then you 30, said it's 30 2013 read 30 2013 yeah but to interfere i have to use force or threaten to use physical force see that's why you're you're not educated on that you haven't read the statute read okay, well, why don't you read it to me so that read, i can I'm understand not, it's it. not i don't have to read the statute to you i've informed you here's the nmsa or new mexico statutes annotated that sergeant allen is referring to no person shall willfully refuse or fail to leave the property of or any building or other facility owned, operated, or controlled by the state or any of its political subdivisions when requested to do so by a lawful custodian of the building, facility, or property. Here's the important part. If the person is committing, threatens to commit, or incites others to commit any act which would disrupt, impair, interfere with, or obstruct the lawful mission, processes, procedures, or functions of the property, building, or facility. So Sergeant Allen hates the Constitution so much that he's willing to fabricate a scenario in which our First Amendment protected activity is converted into a crime. Simply taking pictures in no way disrupts the functions of this facility. But wait, there's more, and it gets much better. Subsection B. No person shall, at or in any building or other facility or property owned, operated, or controlled by the state or any of its political subdivisions, willfully impede the staff or a public official or a member of the general public through the use of restraint, abduction, coercion, or intimidation, or when force and violence are present or threatened. Sergeant Allen literally broke the same NMSA that he's trying to enforce on us. You can't make this stuff up.
This is the state of law enforcement in the United States. It's disgraceful, it's shameful, and quite frankly, it's downright embarrassing. Government is the epitome of do as I say, not as I do, and Thomas Jefferson said, tyranny is defined as that which is legal for the government, but illegal for the citizenry. Clearly what Sergeant Allen did isn't legal, but it's legal in the sense that nothing will ever happen to him. I can file a complaint, I can try to file a criminal complaint, I've already done all of that stuff before. Nothing ever happens. But rest assured, I will be reaching out to a civil rights attorney in Albuquerque. Now obviously those other deputies that are present broke the same law in which Sergeant Allen did, but they broke it in an additional way. So let's break this down. No person shall willfully impede a member of the general public when force and violence are present or threatened. So Sergeant Allen threatened force and violence on a member of the general public in order to willfully impede our First Amendment right to record in public. And those deputies sat there and did nothing. This is just one example of why I say there's no such thing as a good police officer. Now, obviously, one way to correct this would be to educate police on constitutional rights and that us auditors aren't out here to create a conflict or create a confrontation. But it starts at the top because if the supervisors don't buy into that, the subordinates are not going to go against the grain. It's literally hardwired into our brains to be submissive in this way. It's part of the human psyche. 99% of the human existence has been in 50 to 100 people tribes. And we've only had this population explosion within the last few hundred years. So our brains have not evolved to live with 8 billion people. And in tribal times, it was advantageous to submit to the alpha. Because if you go against the alpha, you're dead, your wife's dead, your offspring's dead, and your genes unapologetically get weeded out of existence. Now in today's world, it's no longer who can pick up the biggest rock is in charge. It's the government. And that's why people are so afraid to go against the government because they can't get arrested. They have bills to pay. They have families to feed. Same thing with these deputies. If they go against the alpha, which is who? Sergeant Allen. What could happen to them? They could get fired, reprimanded. Same thing for them. They have bills to pay and families to feed. So it's literally hardwired into our brains, guys. So I don't know how to fix this. Let me know in the comment section what you think. All right, guys, let's get back to the video. Okay, but you said it's causing a disruptance is what it would be, right? Have a good day, sir. So, so simply yeah. taking right, pictures isn't day. causing a disruptance, man. We got Sergeant Allen here, the clown, bud. Freaking tyrant clown right here. Piece of shit right here, man. Okay, guys, here's where I get emotional and resort to name calling. I dislike it when I lose control over my emotions like this. I was just so overwhelmingly frustrated by the fact I got kicked out of there, and Sergeant Allen's smug and condescending attitude didn't help. Clown, bud. Need to back up, dude. Back shut up. The you, I don't up, care dude. if you call me names. I'll like, stand where I want, but what law is that? What law is that? Me, you yeah, you're up. trying to violate my rights, bud. You're, you're tell me approaching nothing. me with And I'm a good four feet away from you, bro. Oh, okay. So why don't you just Recently? kick rocks, Gentlemen, bud? You guys have a great yeah, day. Kick rocks, yeah. clown. Trying to make a have a great story. day. Kick rocks, clown. See, that's what you get, man. You want respect? We treated that officer in there with respect, but you're nothing but a coward, bud. That's what you are. So kick rocks, buddy. I have a great you day. do not deserve to be working for the public, man. You're no, a disgrace. That's not your decision. That's not yeah, your but decision. you know what? We're a taxpayers, that man. And that's decision. how you treat members of the public by violating their rights. And you swore an oath to the Constitution. What's wrong with you, Alan? What's wrong with you? I just kept my Constitution. No, you didn't. You just violated your oath. Because okay. that's the kind of officer you are, man. You're a piece of shit. Well, I look forward to seeing you guys. You know what? Turn in your gun and your badge and retire. Go be a meter maid. That's what you deserve to be, I bud. I see you guys in court. You piece of shit. I'll see you in court. Kick rocks. Tyrant. I would definitely file a, file a formal complaint against all of them. So where do we go file complaints on these guys at? Oh yeah, the, the simply the same place we're at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, file it. Yeah, file, file for There you go. Yeah. Uh, uh, rather than the APD side, uh, go on the other side and do the uh, file. Uh, I'll complain against him.